Hey everyone, I'm John Evans. And I'm Ruth Brown. And now we're going to do the recap for week three, May 2014, uh, 20 Charleston, here in Richmond, Virginia. It's 20 Charleston core class, Monday night at Old Thompson's local market. Okay, so we started off, we worked on uh, some solo animal dancing stuff, so we reviewed the squirrel and the jaybird, uh, and then we did the grizzly bear. So people are doing solo dancing, this is how you show everyone you're going to do the grizzly bear. You go. Okay, now you're going to run at them. In time with music, of course, because it's a dance. Okay, and you're going to link up here. Now, someone needs to establish themselves as a leader. So in this case, it'll be me. I put my right, or notice that our right feet are between each other. I'm going to take this over to this side, to my right side, and we're going to do this little step, which is kind of a fox trotty step. But one thing that's important is that we're going to not, we're not going to be frozen like a, it's not called a tree, it's the grizzly bear, so we're going to go. <laughs> And then at some point, you can jump back again, and then you can go up, you turn, turn around, and then you can jump back, it's over, and then you morph into whatever other animal you want to be. Yes, exactly. That's it. It's also fun to combine animals to have grizzly bear chasing the squirrel, this kind of thing. So, we did that, then we worked, went back to Flat Charleston. So we, uh, we're doing linear Charleston, to get to flat Charleston. Then we started to swing the arms here. Two feet down. I should try to tell you to get out of the frame, please. Okay, great. So <laughs> swinging the arms like this. And then what we talked about was to, to get back into uh, closed position. When I'm going to be open, see how I toss the arm up? And that allows us to get back into open. So we're, when we're stepping, we're open. And so what I'm going to do here, when I step, oops, that went, that was good. And where am I going? Okay, I'm going to go back to linear. There we go. So we can transition from linear to flat in any number of ways. Um, but rhythmically, we've been trying to keep touch and step for linear, step and touch for, um, for flat, just to have some like landmarks. Okay, and then the last thing we did is we worked on this little pattern, which we'll do. You want to do a facing camera or the open camera? Okay. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight, one, three, five. Just swing through. Three, seven, three, five, seven. And with the partner, that's going to look like this. You're going to have one, three, five, seven, three, five, seven, three, five, seven. It's just a tip there. Leads, I find it easiest if my hand that's on top is the same as the leg that's on top. That's just a way to keep, for me to keep track of what I'm doing. And by the way, I'm going to go ahead and touch your follows. Yeah, follows. Keep your arms relaxed, uh, and that'll help. Uh, you know, fighting your leader, that'll help hopefully prevent your arms from getting smashed together. <laughs> exactly. Okay, that was it. Thanks a lot. I'll see you guys soon.